Hey guys, and welcome back to another how-to video. Today we're going to take a look at sheep husbandry. So, there's been a fair bit of changes in animal care since Farm Sim 17, or maybe you're new to Farm Sim 19 and you're interested in sheep. Well, this video is hopefully going to walk you through everything that you need in order to care for your sheep uh, from buying the sheep placeable area, to buying your sheep, to uh, basically feeding them, and then hauling the wool off the spinnery for profit. So, let's take a look at the placeable areas to begin with. So if we go into our shop and we go to placeables, we go to animal pens, we have two options. We have a large and a small sheep pasture. So before you can even get into sheep, you got to spend at least 65000 or $180,000 just to have the place to put them. Okay, so this is obviously different than Farm Sim 17, where you jumped into a map and you had a pre built sheep area ready to go, no money spent. Let's take a look at the sheep pasture, normal sheep pasture. So it's $65,000 to buy, $65 a day in operating costs, holds 80 sheep, so Unlike Farm Sim 17, where you could put a thousand sheep in a pen, there is a limit. So there's only 80 sheep that can go into this pasture. And we take basically hay, grass, and water. Okay. Large sheep pasture is $180,000 to buy, $180 a day, but you can hold 250 sheep. And again, it takes water, hay, or grass. To, uh, to keep these sheep going. Let's take a look at placing these sheep areas. Put the small sheep pen. Okay, so let's take a look at putting that here. Now before we place it, let's make sure our F1 menu is up. This is very important. Now that our F1 menu is up, let's go in here and let's place our sheep pasture. Okay. So let's look over an F1. See now that we can buy it for $254,000. Oh, hold up. Didn't I just say this thing costs $65,000? Why is it now $254,000? Well, in a how-to video that you'll find in the channel, um, there's we talk about placeables in general and the concept of land deformation so it's going to cost 254 to place this now you see these these blue edges around the uh, the placeable I guess they're blue that's basically showing you the land and deformation that basically it's going to raise up the land around this area well if we do left control Q and lower placeable and you can see now all of a sudden it's cheaper okay okay it turn 51,000 and we can lower it 50 something right we move it over here I don't want to put it here look it's 68,000 it's really cheap put it over here Actually move it so we can see it better. Put it here, and then we left control Q. Left control. Get it down to sixty-eight thousand dollars. Put it down. Now we have the small sheep area. Okay, let's look at the large sheep area. Large sheep area is a bit bigger in size than the uh, pick the large. Yep, the large one is a bit bigger than the uh, than the small one. Not by a lot, but by enough. Uh, you can see now that I've superimposed them. See. A red outline of the fence extending further out. Well, 
I'm not going to put it here. It'll fit here, but I don't want to put it here because I want to use this grass. Let's see if I can put it. I'm going to have to move. Or a truck. Sheep area. Got it. I have to say it was happy. Rotate it with the uh, arrow keys. Where the house goes. Oh, there it's happy. All right, let's lower this, left control Q. About the best we're gonna do. Put her down. All right. So now we have just two sheep areas and it's fairly flat land. We didn't deform it too much. So in the large sheep area, so any trough that is squared off like this, it's just a feed trough. This is the water trough because it's got a rounded bottom to it. Came over here, feed trough, squared off, and then the water trough, which has got a rounded bottom. In addition, here in this sheep area, this side, this is where we're going to deliver our sheep or buy them, okay? We have our F1 menu up. We can see that R is the animal dialogue. We can come in here and we can buy our sheep right away. We can buy a white sheep, buy a brown, white and black, and black sheep. And you can see that they cost $1,500 to purchase and $100 as a delivery fee because we're not transporting these sheep by ourselves. Okay, so we could load this up with uh, a fair number of sheep. One of the days is just scrolling with the wheel and ticking them up, much having to hand pick, but we can have a nice assortment of sheep. So now that we've got the assortment that we want, I don't know how many we have, hit space to confirm, and we have sheep in our pen. Oh, we got lots of sheep in here. Okay. And then over here we have our whole spawn area. Let's go take a look at the animal screen. So we, have, we have seven white sheep, five brown sheep, four black and white sheep, six black sheep. See that the sheep are not currently reproducing not currently producing any wool. They need grass or hay. They need water and they have a cleanliness factor. Let's go see about transporting our sheep. So there's one thing that I didn't buy uh, with respect to setting up this particular video. That is the animal trailer. So under the shop, under the trailer section, there's animal transport. And under animal transport, there are four in-game trailers. Western Brockman is only for horses. And the Joskin, the uh, Michello, Michello, and the Wilson trailer. You can see on these, this particular trailer holds six cows, nine pigs, and ten sheep. This one holds 14 cows, 21 pigs, and 24 sheep. And this one holds 12 cows, 36 pigs, and 38 sheep. I'm going to go with big boy here, the Western Star, just for funsies. And we're going to need a way to haul 
our sheep. Go with the big old Roadrunner. And let's get it in. Nice dark. Nice dark. We're gonna go with kind of a kind of a Okay. Here we are. Got a truck. Got a trailer. Go ahead and hook up to this. And we're going to run down to the animal dealer. And look about buying up some sheep. Not going to take long to get down there. So let's just go ahead and take our ride down there. Another reason why I picked this map is the animal dealer is fairly close to the main farm also. It's just down the down this main drag a little bit. In fact, I'll just cut right here and uh, we'll be back together once I get down there. Here we are at the uh, the animal dealer. We're going to go ahead and swing. States to get out of here and you can see we can hit R to open the dialogue and of course we can buy pigs sheep cows we're gonna go ahead and just buy a whole ton of black and white sheep this is gonna tell us when we're full It'd be nice if we could dial up the sheep Okay, our trailer is full. Space to confirm. And now we have a load of sheeps. Double decker. $7,000 worth of sheep. Now, when we buy sheep from the animal dealer, and I should have demonstrated this. Got it. Uh, if you go back and look, you'll see we didn't pay $100 per sheep. We don't pay a transport fee if we buy our own sheep or we we come pick them up okay so to some degree you need to look back and or you need to think how many animals am i going to buy do i have a plan to actually need to transport these animals at any point in time later and if the answer is no then it may be just as cost effective for you to just have them auto delivered then to have to run over there and pick them up. Okay. Here, let's go ahead. Let's unload them. Um, now we have our sheep. Okay, so now that we have sheep, what do we do with these things? Well, let's go ahead and get water. So I've already gotten a water trailer. And I've already parked it over here at the uh, water tower. Let's go ahead and get our water. Gonna need a water trailer. I went and got the Joskins water trailer, which is in the animal area. I'll show you guys that in the store. While it's filling up. So in the store, we go to trailers, we go to animals. See the Joskin water trailer here. Holds 7,300 liters of water. One, that's all it does. Transports water. Uh, 
while that's filling that up, you can see we have sheep pasture and then it's separated out into the large sheep pasture. It's important to know if you have multiple animal areas, how they're going to be separated out. Bring this around here. Let's go to this pen. Start filling our water trough. water trough. Look at the animal area. You can see now that our sheep in the small pasture already have water. 4,400 liters of water for the six. All of them. And you can see in our large sheep pasture we only have 2,800 liters of water. 2,900 liters. So these guys could use a little bit. But for the purpose of this demonstration that's enough. So the feed that they need, they need grass or hay food. So if you're not familiar with uh, how to do grass or hay, well, you're going to need some equipment. And at a minimum, you're going to need a tractor, a mower, and a forage wagon. Okay, so I've got all of that right here. Pull up front mower pull up here to this forage wagon loading wagon they call it let's look at that in the store so here's the mowers I've got the Nova cat 301 ED mower so it's going to use to mow the grass and I've got the loading wagon I've got this Strotterman Zellon CFS 2501 holds 2300 liters and you can see it holds grass, hay, chaff, straw, or silage. Okay. We're going to go to town. Unfold the mower. Lower it and start it. We're going to, oops. We're going to lower and start our forage wagon loading wagon and we're just going to start mowing this grass here and loading it into our wagon Not sure how much these sheep will take at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and fill this all the way up. And like before, I'll be back with you once we have a full wagon of grass. So we've gotten our trailer full of grass at this point, And we went ahead and pulled up here to our small sheep pen see that we are getting the overload grass so I'm going to go ahead and unload the grass into the feed trough we are so now they are full look at there we got our water and we have our sheep we got 11,000 liters of grass or hay 4,300 liters of water 100% cleanliness 20% productivity. We've got quite a long time before these guys reproduce. And right now we have zero wool. So the other way to feed these guys is to use hay. Okay. Well, if you're not familiar with how to do hay, well, you've. Back here again. 
Gonna need a tractor again and a mower, which we already have uh, in order to feed the grass. But what we're gonna do this time around is we need a mower. Just gonna mow a patch of grass here. And we're gonna need this tether. And what the tether does is it basically drives the grass and allows it to uh, turn into hay. Get them started. area up a little bit. I'm gonna mow this section real fast so that we've got some hay. And then basically you can see it's basically scattering it out everywhere. Well we're gonna need a rake or a wind rower to basically tidy up this hay into nice windrows. And then we can come by with the forage wagon or the loading wagon to pick it up out of the windrow, or we can bale it. So we're gonna bale it, uh, just because that's what we are, we like to bale things. You don't need the baler unless you want the baler. At a minimum, you're gonna need a mower and a loading wagon in order to feed grass. If you wanna feed some hay, then you're gonna need a tether and a windrower. Um, in addition to the loading wagon and the mower at a minimum or if you wish to uh, make bales then you're going to need a baler either a square or round baler and then you're going to need some type of implement to handle the bales be it forks or a you're going to need forks no matter what be it loading trailer flatbed trailer auto loading in game bale trailers or, or anything like that. To be honest, you're going to need a uh, trailer anyway, because we're going to need to be able to transport the pallets of wool to cell point. This won't take too much longer. Sheep can be pretty good money um, if you've got enough of them to reproduce with any any frequency. That's the problem. Is the reproduction is is pretty low, as is their overall um, wool output. But wool sells for a very very good price. So that's kind of the trade-off. You don't get a lot of wool, but when you do have wool, it will make you a decent amount of money. Right, so now we've got our grass cut and our hay headed. Let's drop these off over here. I'm gonna hook this up to our big baler. that down for now we're gonna grab our little tractor we don't need the big tractor for the wind rower fold it lower it down and now we're gonna pull this into a nice orderly windrow that we can come by with the mower or the baler and pick up.
Then we'll make a couple real quick passes. Uh, get a couple bales. Of course, if we had a field that was planted in grass, uh, we would get a much greater yield than using what I call map grass, or grass that comes um, area grass. That's good enough. It's up and we'll put the rake over. Hop back in our baler. Unfold it all and get it started. You'll see that we've got, uh, we actually have straw in here. No, we got, we got hay, okay, grass. Now you'll see the icon change once we dive into this hay. Should change. It doesn't, it? No. We're going to get some weird bale that's three parts because we did bale this, bale some grass in one demo and straw in one demo. Grass bale that we started, a bale behind it. So each bale is 4,000 liters in capacity. This will put us over the 4,000 edge. Okay, we got a little grass so we can uh, pick up down there. Should we need it? We owed this little ledge over here in a different uh, how to video. We'll just pick this up. the baler. Up. Now that we've got these bales, what are we going to do with them? Okay, well, we can't pick them up. Too heavy to pick up. We're going to need uh, to pick them up. And with that, we're going to use our small tractor again. You can see we've got some loader arms here already set up, a bale spike, and a rear weight. We've got rear tire weights on here. I don't know if that's going to be enough. We'll see. May need a rear weight, that's why I have it here. Spear into one of these bales. Looks like this tractor's have enough junk in the trunk, so to speak, to uh, handle this bale. 
And you can come over here and you can just feed this bale directly. Bring it over to this area. Set it down. And now it's not instantaneous like Farm Sim 17. It will vanish once you unload the bale from bale spikes. Just lay the bale down. It won't do anything. have to actually move it from the spikes then it will recognize it take it and check see our grass and haze up to 12,000 let's go ahead and give them that other bale Alrighty, that fills them up. So now all we gotta do is wait on the wool. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fast forward time, set this up to, and we're gonna wait for the wool. Um, not fast. In fact, you may think to yourself, is are these things even working? Is it even making wool? So I am noticing this message here no more space for new wool pallets okay i saw that when i was setting up for this and trying it out um but if enough time goes by a wool pallet will spawn and you'll see a wool bale show up in there very shortly there over here we should see the same thing happen So, I'm not really sure why it's giving you that error, um, but it doesn't seem to matter. I mean, it's, it's spawning wool anyway. Look, we can see that we have a whole five liters. Now seven, 13. So, we got more sheep over here. So, we're getting wool faster. I'm just going to fast forward into tomorrow. Okay, come back, we'll have some wool. Alright, so we have moved into the next day. And as you see, now we have a full pallet and a partial pallet here at a large or large sheep area. We've got 359 liters in the small pallet. And over at this small sheep area, we have just 851 liters of the first pallet. Something else to notice is our sheep's cleanliness has dropped to 55%. Same here with our larger sheep pen. And our water is now in the red for our large sheep pen. And our water is just down a little bit, as is our food in the other sheep pen. Let's also show that in the large sheep pen, we are still maxed out at food. That is because we were actually able to overfeed with the bales um, in the large pen. So, if you feed loose, then it will fill the trough to its maximum, and that is it. If you feed with bales, uh, there's an interesting thing that happens here. Is that the bale is 4,000 liters. Okay, so anytime you add a bale, you add 4,000 liters. If the trough will hold 1,000 more liters before it's full, I didn't know if I'd be able to pull this out a little. It's okay. So if the trough has 1,000 liters of capacity left before it's full, and you put a bale in, it will take all 4,000 liters of that bale but basically overfill the trough by 3,000 liters. So it will take you a little bit longer. I was hoping I could use that truck to transport that trailer. 
So it'll take you a little bit longer to um, basically feed down that feed trough. That's why um, this feed trough on the large sheep pasture is still showing. But what we need to do is we need to clean up our sheep. Our sheep get dirty. They are messy, messy eaters. That's why we have a bucket over here. Come over here and let's swing around. Your bucket. And what we're going to do is we're going to scoop up the grass here that they have spilled out. Now, no matter how, if you feed hay or grass to our sheep, they're going to spit grass out. It's magic. Magic happens in the feed trough. It somehow converts hay back into grass. You can see we have 206 liters of grass in our bucket. If we go to empty it, it says the action cannot be performed here. That's because the trough is still full. Okay, so if you get to a state where you can't put the, uh, the stuff you scoop back up in the trough, it's probably because it's still full. Probably because either you fed your sheep before you cleaned. It's always good to clean before you feed. Or you overfilled the trough earlier and it's still technically full. We'll pick this up and then we'll dump this in. Okay. Now they are clean again. Look here. We'll see their cleanliness will jump up. It's not instantaneous. It'll take a little time. Now we need to go and... Well, we don't need to. But what I want to do now is I want to sell the wool. And show you guys that process. This is a Strauderman trailer. I'll show you in the store where I got all this stuff from. Okay. So, in the store, it's under trailers. And it's this trailer here, the Strauderman. And if you change the capacity to bale loading wagon, you'll get a flatbed. Then, of course, we have the front loaders using the FZ30, which is for smaller tractors. Then we have the bale fork, pallet fork, and the universal bucket got going on there. Spin around here. On Farm Sim 17, typically six. Wool pallets could spawn at a time. But it's looking like to me that maybe only four pallets can spawn uh, with these placeable areas. I checked the help menu, and the help menu didn't really say anything helpful <laughs> about how many wool pallets could, uh, could spawn here. See that they have a capacity when they're full of 1,000 liters. That is a little different than uh, than Farm Sim 17. I think that was 1,000 liters. Come over here. This pallet. Oh, it's good to see that the bale, the pallet, still getting to a nice, crazy state.
gonna go ahead and go up to this and put the tie downs on. And we'll head on to the uh, spinnery, which on this map, take a look here. Spinnery is down here. Need to actually run around to here, around to there. It's probably either way, it's the same. And you see, we're going to get. $934 per thousand liters for our wool. Look at animal We spent $90,000 yesterday in buying our sheep. Okay. So $90,000 Get our sheep and we're probably going to make about two thousand dollars today in wool. So you can see it's going to take quite a while to pay back our uh, our sheep investment. That's not even counting the the animal areas that we bought or the equipment that we had to buy in order to care for the animals, feed them and whatnot. Um, but on the also flip side, uh, the sheep will be reproducing. So you will be getting more sheep and with more sheep come more wool and with more wool comes better profits. So over time, um, animals can be quite profitable, but they are not a cheap thing to get started up. So they're not necessarily the best thing to, to try to get into right away unless you're already going to have equipment that you need to care for them. Plan on already having a mower um, and a forage wagon? Well then good. Then you're not going to need to buy that extra in order to, uh, to feed the sheep. I'll just uh, skip forward again until we get to the spinnery. We're rolling into the spinnery area now. And the cell point is, I think, between these two buildings. Where is it? Right here. So let's pull on in here and see what we get for our wool. Interesting. I have to unload this. Key, I'm going to have to unload this. Let's see. Maybe you just pull one in here. The trailer is just a little bit too tall, I guess. Look at that. If we had a lower trailer, it might uh, might have worked. This trailer looks to be just a little bit too tall. guys well that's going to conclude our sheep husbandry how-to video hope it was helpful i uh, hope you enjoyed it and you found it useful on how to care for sheep here in farm sim 
19. If you liked the video, please go ahead and click that like button. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you have not already, because there's going to be several more how-to videos coming out in the channel in the near future. Until next time, happy farming.